Welcome to the Peter McCallum Cancer Center. In January 2020, we asked over 100 Peter Mac patients how we could improve the patient experience for those coming into cancer imaging. With these videos, we hope to meet the need presented for better transparency around our procedures and show you what you can expect from your time here in cancer imaging. This video shows what it is like to have a central venous access device or CVAD insertion at Peter Mac. The Peter McCallum Cancer Center is conveniently accessible through public transport and there is paid parking on site. When you arrive at Peter Mac, our friendly receptionist staff will help you find where you need to go for your specific consult, scan or therapy. Hi, my name's Catherine. I'm a nurse here at Peter McCallum in the Cancer Imaging Department. And today we're going to go through the process of you having a central venous access device inserted. Long-term intravenous access, also known as IV access, may be needed for treatment and ongoing blood tests. To assist with this, your doctor may ask you to have a central venous access device, or CVAD, inserted. There are many different kinds of CVADs, such as peripherally inserted central catheters, or more commonly referred to as a PIC, Hickman's, Permacath, or Port. CVADs are inserted by a radiology doctor in the angiography room. In order to prepare you for your procedure, the nurse will need to ask you a few questions. So I've just got a few questions to ask you before we take you down into the room. Yep. Have you been fasting? Yes. Since what time? Since 12 last night. Perfect. Um, and in terms of the procedure, what we tend to do right here is we'll get the doctor to come around shortly, explain the procedure to you and we'll get your consent. We'll pop a little drip in or an IV cannula because during the procedure we give you what's called sedation. You're not completely uh, asleep during the procedure, you're in what's called a twilight sedation. Okay. So you might be aware of what's going on around you, but you'll be comfortable and we do give you some pain relief as well. Will I feel anything? You might feel when the local anaesthetic goes in, it'll be like a little sting, um, but once that all goes and starts working, then you should feel numb in the area. Okay. After the nurse's questions, a radiographer will talk with you about the procedure and answer any questions you might have. Once this is done, you're ready for the procedure. Hi Sophie. Hi. I'm Megan, one of the radiographers. Nice to meet you. You too. We're all ready to go in the room. Okay. I'll just let you know before we head down that we've got um, the full sterile setup. Mm -hmm. So notice us all wearing scrubs. In the room we'll have our hats and masks on and the nurse and doctor will have a sterile gown and gloves. Yep. And that's just purely so we don't put an infection in with the device that we're putting in, nothing to worry about. Yep. Um, we'll also put on the x-ray lead gowns when we're down in the room too. During your procedure, a radiologist, nurse and radiographer will all work together to safely insert your central venous access device. An ultrasound machine and x-ray camera will be used to confirm the correct placement of the device. The x-ray camera will get quite close to you, but it is important to know you will never be in danger. After the procedure, you will need to recover in a holding bay for 10 to 15 minutes while a doctor reviews your images. After a doctor reviews your images, you will be provided with food and drink. However, you must rest for another hour or so to fully recover. When the person who is picking you up is present, you will both be provided necessary information on any further care you may need. We hope that this video was helpful in demonstrating what you can expect to experience when coming to Peter Mac for a central venous access device insertion. We asked our current patients what they would like to tell new patients coming into cancer imaging, and this is what they had to say. Despite being unsure about where to go and what was going to happen, the staff at Peter Mac were calm and friendly. Nothing was ever rushed, so I never felt panicked either. I was concerned that it was going to be painful, but it was far from it. Please call us on the number provided if you have any questions. For more information, visit the provided links.